Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I take another first look, this time at Monstro Battle Tactics by Retrocade.net. It is a fantastic little kind of a puzzle tactics turn-based game. It's very similar in lines with what we just saw the last day or so where we saw Militia. It's similar to that. You get a set number of characters on a small battle map and your goal is to defeat the enemies and not die yourselves. So it's very, very, very similar to that, but the presentation and how everything plays out is actually quite different. So while similar, it's still very, very different. So first up, we're going to watch the intro and then I'll be back and we'll start playing. Ludus is a peaceful land where ancient terror beasts and humans somehow coexist in perfect harmony. Absolute bliss and peace govern their lives, and any reasonable person would consider Ludus a pretty nifty place to live, terror beasts and all. But such joy and laughter can never last forever, because that would be boring. So, once every few hundred years or so, a predictably unpredictable astrological phenomenon occurs, wherein some angry people in the sky, from a not-sky-at-all dimension called Terror, come and shred their eternal peace to pieces. Who knows why? They're probably picked on or something. Whenever they arrive, a fleet of floating islands are brought along. Their fields, divided into conveniently perfect squares, make up the battlefields where the humans and the ancient terror beasts battle for the amusement of these angry sky people. It's pretty darn awful. The peaceful terror beasts don't really enjoy being terrifying and the puny humans don't really enjoy being puny. But when the alternative is getting sky peopled to death, it's bad. The result is friends killing friends and innocent terror beasts alike, hoping for the battles to end and for peace to return to the land. And there you have the predictably unpredictable predictableness of predictability. I don't, it's, it's fine, guys. Anyway, uh, let's hop in and get started. We're gonna go and we're gonna play through probably five or six missions of the humans and of the monsters. And that should give you a pretty good idea, a pretty, well, rough idea of what the game is all about and, well, if you want to, endeavor to play it. So we're going to hop in here to the humans and I want to show you guys there are, I think, 20 levels available to each one. So each thing is going to be kind of like a game board. You're going to have a small little map and you're going to have to accomplish the goal. So let's start with one because that is generally the beginning. Basic tactics. And here we are, human number one, basic tactics. As it's, w as it's been well known for generations, there was no better way to start a war than to coop up six people or four slimes and two humans on a tiny island. That's just math. This would show everyone that sky gods mean business, and things were finally getting serious. Alright, so if we take a look, it appears that we have two HP, so two health, we have two attack, we have four movement, and we have one armor that gets replenished every turn. And our range is one, so we can see all that from over here on the side. We hover over our shoulder. We take a look at the slimes. The slimes have one health, one attack, two armor, which restores every turn. And they have a movement of three and a range of one. So we're going to need to focus fire down the slimy slimes. So we're going to attack him with you. Then move on over here and a follow-up attack. And we're going to hope that we are strong enough to deal with whatever they do. When we're done with our turn, we press spacebar and it's the monsters phase. And the monsters shall attack. Now, it will show you what is going to happen every single time you go to attack. So like right now, it's saying that we will get attacked and we will lose one of our armor because the attack is one. We must confirm this with the mouse click and then we're going to get attacked again and lose one of our HP. And again, our armor is going down there. Alright, at this point, we're going to come up here and we're going to slaughter this guy. And a follow-up attack from all compatriots should see us in a fairly decent spot. 
Now, if we were to lose any one of our guys, we would die. Right now, I believe only the enemy can only attack him once, so he should be fine. So, there's the attack. And the other attack, and we're fine. Our armor, again, restores every time. So, we'll attack you, we'll attack you again, and that's pretty much it. So, we've already pretty much won, we just have to clean everything up. So we're going to come over here and attack, and there's a follow-up, and victory is ours! Alright, we're going to play to the next mission. Alright, that's not the next mission. Sorry, guys. Uh, apparently, I had played through a few other ones. We're going to change level. We're going to go to two here. I played through a few of these just to kind of get a feel for it, and uh, apparently it skips me to the last one I played. So, human number two, a fair clash. Sky gods sometimes fought each other. OMG, what is this? Don't you even... Don't you have even a hint of originality? A booming shout ripped the sky open. This is so similar to your last map thing, it's not even funny. The same voice added and was quickly followed by a different one. Shut up, noob. I know what I'm doing. Alright, now we have four humans and four slimes. Now the goal of this map is to... Well, get the first act. So to attack first, we need to see how far they'll move. They will move to this far, so if we move here, we will be in range to do murderous things. And we're going to double up attack two, and well, you'll see. You'll see. It's pretty simplistic, guys. This is not a challenging part of uh, the game. Oh no, I just messed up. That's kind of not great. I should still be able to recover. Now, here's one of the problems that you will run into, guys. And this has caused me to reset my uh, campaign a couple times, or my map, or whatever. Uh, if you click on your guy and then click on him again without attacking, you'll end your turn with that particular character. And then there's no way to un-end your turn. Well, actually, you know what? There is a way to un-end your turn. I forgot about that. You can press Q. Alright, so by pressing Q, I can actually redo that so I don't have to start the map over again. There we go. That's what was supposed to happen, guys. So if you accidentally do that, you can press Q and revitalize your unit. So there you go, guys. Now you know. The more you know. Ta-ling! and then you hit spacebar to end your turn. So if you did something stupid or you did a bunch of things that were stupid and you want to back out and redo it, you just press Q and you can get all the way back to the very beginning of the turn. And remember, anytime the enemy makes a turn, you have to confirm the attack that you're paying attention you know what's going on by clicking your mouse button. All right, we're going to go here and do murderous things to you, and the same can be said for you, sir. You are now dead, perished, and victory once again is ours. All right, we're going to try to play the next mission. Is it going to bring us back to five again? It is. We're going to, of course, back out and go to level three instead of level five. Now, this one I don't have down super good, so I'm pretty bad at this one, but we'll see if we can't figure this one out. It was written in the ancient animal or annals sorry, that when sky gods do something twice, they must do it a third time, too. The survivor of a previous invasion recalled, I had to fight my friend, Slimy. When I won that, they pitched me against his siblings. And after that, the parents! It's nice to have things you can count on. Alright, so what we need to do... is gone some way to not die a horrible death. And I really don't have a solution to this problem. Now, there's going to be a very, very good way of doing this, and a very, very bad way, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it the bad way, but we'll see. Alright, I should actually be able to attack you, and I might be able to block at least one attack from... yeah, that's not going to happen. Alright, so we're going to end up losing one hit point here, more than likely. Alright, so we're going to get attacked there, we're going to get attacked there. And then we're going to move down here and attack you. I'm moving over here. And you're going to come forward and attack me. And I am going to hopefully be able to slaughter you now. There it is. I'm going to block you a little bit. It's not going to be great, but it should be enough. But I can now... Oops. I can now get up here and kill you while blocking out your compatriots. And we're fine at this point. That's all we had to do is, like, just not get swarmed, and we're okay. So we'll get attacked once, we're gonna recover with our armor, and here's our victory. So, there we go. Victory is ours. Alright, what we do now is we could return to the title. 
Um, I'm going to select a mission. There we go. So we're going to go to four now. Human number four, Tiny Conflicts. Sky Guards sometimes try to repeat the same battles just to see if they could turn out different. That's called science. Or madness, something. It didn't work out exactly right that one time. A sudden cough interrupted the transportation of a soldier who ended up falling into the ocean and immediately catching pneumonia. If one good thing can be said about Sky Gods, it's that they never let sick people fight. That'd be inhumane. Maybe they do have a suggestion box, eh? Eh? Alright, so this is very similar to before, except we have one less soldier. So we're going to have to balance a little bit better where our people move and what they actually accomplish. So we're going to all group up on this side, and we're going to wait it out. And we are going to send you over here to attack this guy. You to attack this guy, and I guess you're going to focus on him. We're going to get mauled slightly by this guy. And a little bit by that guy. And again, our armor is going to hold there. I'm going to attack you, and I'm going to come down here and attack you, sir. And the attack is real. So, that's pretty much it. They're going to hit us, and hit us again, and nothing's really going to happen. Our armor's just going to face tank right through it, and it's going to be fine. Alright, so I'm just going to move back here because I can, and because attacking them really does literally nothing. And finally, we're going to be victorious. And there you have it. Victory is ours. Alright, we're going to play the next mission, and then we're probably going to swap over to the monster one after that. Human number five. What is that word? Circumvallating assault, okay. Shrooms were the most interesting species inhabiting Ludus. Not because they were slow and tough, not because they could drink a bucket of alcohol without getting inebriated, no. What that made them so special were their edible hats that produced enough nutritional value to feed two humans and a quarter of a minotaur indefinitely. Knowing this shed some light on why Sky Gods arranged the battle the way they did. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure we're going to end up losing a few folks here, so there is that. But I think it's going to all work out somewhat okay for us. Move you here, going to move you here. And that is going to have us on either side blocking you in, I guess. Alright, it looks like we're going to have at least one guy go down, possibly two, maybe three, but again, we should be okay. Alright, so next up, we're going to drop you, going to do murderous, horrible, awful things to you, and then we're going to be victoriously slaughtering you as well. Oh We shall come here, and we shall hit you once. Twice. That's right. Three times a lady. No, not three times a lady. Unfortunately, we can't make it, so we're going to lose a few more than we normally would. Solely due to the fact that I'm terrible at doing things. Alright, it doesn't matter. In the end, we are still victorious, and there it is. The sweet, sweet victory. That could have gone a little bit better. I missed a couple of opportunities to attack. Eh, it is what it is. We'll play one more mission, and then we'll break it off. Alrighty, ooh, human number six, Icy Plains. An old story has it that the first invasion by Sky Gods ever was actually a tea party. They all sat on grass, Ludus people on one side and the invaders on the other, drinking brewed leaves from fancy cups. Sky Gods really loved to mock this fan fiction, that's what they call it, so they replaced the fancy cups and doilies with weapons and sharp fangs and told the party participants to fight each other. It's really not that different. Alright, we have ourselves some ranged units. They have a range of 2 to 3. They do not have the minimum range of 1 in which they can attack. Uh, they can move 4, they have 3 health, they have 3 attack, and they have 0 armor. So they will not regenerate at all. That is just something to be aware of. Now, if I had to take a guess here at the best way to deal with this, what I would do here... Let's move my entire line forward. And we could attack these guys, and we could kill them. But, if you take a look at these guys... Actually, we could even kill them. They all have one attack, so they're just going to bounce off our armor here. So none of our frontline guys are going to die, and what we're going to do is actually take out the back line. And that is going to be my play. 
It's gonna take us a little bit of time, but I think we can do this. I don't think we're on a like a turn limit or anything like that, so we should be fine. Okay, so we're gonna end it. They're all gonna attack. It's not gonna do a whole heck of a lot. I'm just gonna spam my button down. And then we're all gonna restore that, and then we're gonna continue to annihilate folks from a distance. Okay, we're gonna end the turn, and you guessed it. Attack, 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 and attack. And again, and nothing doing, and we're just gonna slowly pick away at our opponents here. They have two, we do three, so it's gonna take us two more shots, but again, eventually we should have this on lockdown. Just saying. Alright, we can attack you, and we can even move here and attack you. And one more cycle, and then we can start laying into the slimes that are providing us quite the defensive wall. Actually, alright, and good day to you, sir. Good day to you, sir. And if we attacked, we only do two, we would actually not get through any of these guys. So, the fact of the matter is, until our slimes make a hole, there's no point in us even attacking with our melee guys. So there's the first hole, and there's the second. And we're going to come over here and attack. A little follow-up attack there. Come over here, attack, and again, follow-up attack there. And you know what? We can come over here and an attack there, and an attack there, and that leaves one slime left to try to battle all of us. And he's going to do his best, but again, it's not going to be enough. Because we're amazing, and we're victorious. So there we go. Alright folks, we're going to return to the title of this. Now we're going to try out the monster side of things. And hopefully you guys enjoy the monster campaign just as much as the human campaign. I played a few missions on this, so we'll, again, we'll select the mission bit by bit. Alright, monster number one, Minus. While the lack of spiders explained why people of Ludus were so eager to step on the web traps, it was so much fun! There were no clear explanations as to why one side of each conflict was always completely unaware of other hazards. It must have been Sky God's magic or, well, poor public education system. Definitely one of the two. Alright, let's move forward and blockade slash defend our way through. And in reality, folks, we can probably do this with just a few of our folks. We don't need that many of them. In fact, I... I think what I'm going to do is actually back these guys out and move our manticore to the front. Alright, it's going to be something along these lines. Alright. So they're going to waddle on forward. We're going to get shot and pew pewed down by the Archerians while they send their little foot soldiers in to die. We're going to move our little shroomers up to the front. And I suppose we'll move our manticore up to the front as well. And we will see many, many, many hatred-filled things moving our way, and yeah, our shrooms survive. And they're even going to be able to get the kill on the horsemen, which is pretty fantastic. Unfortunately, it looks like the swordsmen or the knights or whatever these things are considered are, yeah, they are knights, are not going to be quite so lucky. Alright, going to move forward with you and take, well, what I thought was going to be an easy kill. Turned out it wasn't, so that's not the play. All right. Really? Hmm. I feel like our... Oh, our Minotaur do six damage. Holy cow. Okay, so we may have misplayed slightly. Okay. Well, the archers are down. Do the Minotaur have enough to do much of anything? Not really. But we don't need to lose any more troops. And they can't get through our armor either, so... It's not real. We can't even get through their armor. That's kind of sad. So we're going to move the Minotaur up to the front. We're going to fall back. And we're going to move the Minotaur up to the front again. And we're going to have to hope that we can actually get through them here and that they don't kill the Minotaur before we all end up dying horrible deaths. Yeah, this is uh, looking like we're probably going to end up losing this one. Oh, well, maybe not. They decided to give us a little bit of a gift there. Alright, we'll move there, and there it is. Alright, so that could have been better, could have been worse. I know, I tried a different tactic that time. It wasn't super great. Alright, what do we have here? What is next? That is not what I wanted. Let's, uh, I forgot we have to select our specific mission. I apologize, folks. 
We're gonna go here. And we go to monster number two, Gargoyles Ensemble, or Assemble! No, alright, uh, pikemen, despite their extensive training in pike vaulting, were not able to use their jumping abilities on the battlefield. Not because they were afraid. Not because of magic which made them forget the ability, no. No, no, no. The reason was Sky Gods kindly asked them not to do that unless they want the whole world to be hurled into the sun. Well, that's weird. Definitely different. A little bit strange, not gonna lie. We're gonna send our shroomers down to the bottom here. We're gonna try and guard. Hmm. Guard ourselves from the horrible, horrible onslaught that could very well be our demise. Alright, we are gonna come over here and do a smackety smack right there. We're gonna come over here and kill you off. All right. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna back out. I think I have a better plan. What if I sent you here to do that, sent you here to do this, and then sent you there to kill him? How does that play in front of a jury, huh? Huh? A little bit of damage there, a little bit more damage. Alright, we lost one of our gargoyles, but that's not the end of the world. And definitely some murder-death killing going on here. And it looks like, in the end, we are going to be victorious no matter what. No matter where, no matter how. You slice it, the enemy shall fall before the power of the shroom. There we go, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, let's select our final mission. This is going to be the one that I'm going to end it on. I was going to go further in, guys, but I don't want to give away all the tricks and tips and everything else. So let's go here. We're going to do this one, and this is where I'm going to break it off. So you guys still have plenty of things to uncover and learn on your own. Again, this is kind of a puzzle-solving type situation, so the more I play, the less you guys get to enjoy on your own. So just saying, just saying. All right, monster number three, three by three. That's a lot of threes. For years, dictionaries published on Ludus had a single definition for the zoo. The usual, okay, the usual gigantic area with wildlife. But sky gods kept mocking them by calling a tiny enclosed spaces zoo. So to fight this problem smartly, publishers added the second definition, hoping sky gods would no longer find it amusing. Naturally, this wasn't a good idea. Perhaps the sky gods thought they were being mocked. Whatever the reason, they went right ahead and made sure the tiny islands were at their tiniest during future invasions. And plenty of them to boot. I have no idea what any of that means, but okay. Alright, so the way I see it... These guys are all going to end up in the pit. And the only way I'm going to be able to kill them, because they each have too much health, is if I break through the wall. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to break through the wall. And I'm going to hope that this works out. Now I actually had a pretty big struggle on this map, so I'm hoping that I've learned at least a small amount from my horrible, horrible awfulness. We'll see. Alright, so they walk forward, they all fall into that, then we just walk over and we murder them one at a time, bit by bit. We step in and we take names and we murder people. That's pretty much the size of it. So, we're going to come down here. Hopefully, there it is. We're going to kill. Alright, now the problem is, how do we get those guys out and kill them? And there's one possible solution to this. And we're going to have to utilize that possible solution. So, what is the possible solution, you ask yourselves? Well, it's somewhat simplistic or so it would seem and the solution to the problem is going to be that we are going to need to be all up in a place like this so that is going to be our only our only possible scenario that's going to work for us so what we're going to have to do is get everybody over to one side and then we're going to be able to be victorious with what we're going to try and attempt here so everyone's going to move over and then we should be fine. In fact, we could probably even break it down here if we wanted to. And that should give us enough time to get everyone into position. And I think they can still all move to where they need to be. In fact, I'm going to do it. I'm going to run the risk right now, guys. It's a risk. It's a big risk. But I feel confident that it's going to be okay. 
All right, so they're going to start trying to run us down. Hopefully, and thankfully, I'm pretty sure that I'm still solid and set. And all I really have to do is make it to this spot, and victory will be mine. Now, why is this going to work, you ask yourselves? Well, they have a path to us, but the only way they can get in is by going here. They only have a range of one, and they're going to get stopped every time they step on one of these traps. That being said, they get stopped, we kill. They get stopped, we kill. They get stopped, we kill. Over and over and over again. That's basically the only thing we have to do. Now, it seems very simplistic. It took me like 10 minutes to figure out this map earlier, so be aware this is not as simple as it looks. It sounds simple the way I explain it, but I'm I'm pretty sure you guys would have a little bit of a struggle with this had I not shown you the secret. The secret to Nim. That's why I'm also stopping right here, guys, and this will be the last mission that you get to undertake, because I don't want to give away any more of the secrets. I want you guys to be able to enjoy the game in its fullest. So there you have it, guys. There is my genius. There is my brilliance. It was not so the first time around, guys. This is only due to the fact that I played this map once before. All that being said, we're going to return to the title. I want to remind you guys that there's actually quite a bit here. So if you like what you saw and you want to get in here and play and test your mind, your skill, your strategy, your tactics, well, you can definitely do so. There's 20, there's 20 different things on the human side. There's 20 different things on the monster side. And there's a human plus plus and a monster plus plus. So I'd assume there's maybe 20 in each of those. I'm not sure. I'm just assuming. So there's plenty to rack your brain against and try to be victorious in. I would say at the heart of this game, it is a tactics game, but it's also a puzzle slash strategy game as well. So it kind of encompasses a lot of different things. And I got to say, it's quite enjoyable. So... That's going to do it for this first look. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. If you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, more information on the developer, any of that stuff will be down below in the description of the video. And until the very next first look, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.